Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video tutorial, I am gonna work on a new sensor that is HP206C. Now, to gain more knowledge about this sensor, you just have to log in to controlleverything.com and here search in for this sensor that is HP206C. Now, what we got is a sensor that is barometer and altimeter with 24 bit analog to digital converter. So, these are some of its features which you can see on my screen. Now you can also purchase this sensor from this website as you can see. Now I am going to interface the sensor right for that with a particle photon and for that I require a code. So go to resource tab and here comes the particle code sample. You can have the particle code sample as zip file you can download it and now here from here and so you have the privilege to download the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. Now, collect some hardware so that we can join them and make some connections for the working of this sensor. Well, this here is our sensor that is HP206C. Now as you are looking, this here is our particle photon which you are able to see on my screen. Now the answer to the question that how do we make a connection among the sensor, other I2C devices and the particle photon and make this connection. These connections are a lot easier. The answer is lies here in this I2C shield, which you are able to see on my screen, and that is also available on the website controleverything.com. Now, gently push over the particle photon over the I2C shield and make this connection. Now, this here is a connecting cable. It is the binding factor among the sensor and the I2C shield as it make a connection among them. And while making this connection, Make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and similarly this has to be followed for the I2C sheet. Now the last is to power up our particle photon and for that we require a micro USB cable which is here. Now gently insert it over the power jack and light it up. Now as we are done with the connections part, next we require a particle code so that we can have the interfacing part of this video with the sensor. Let's have a look over that also. So as we are done with the hardware setup for this sensor, why not we have a look over the particle code so that we can interface this particular sensor. So first thing we have to do to log in to github.com and here we have to search for the official repository of control everything.com that is control everything community. Get over it and here comes the required sensor HP206C. Now this is the code, particle code we are talking about but before that let's have a look over the instructions for this particle photon. We have to log into our particle photon and set up the device and this is the link which helps us to set up that. Now we have to download and get pull the code. It's optional and we have to go to the online ID and copy our code there and build our particle will help us to do that. Now very last we have to verify and flash the photon code on particle code on the sensor for the sensor and the code output will be displayed on the dashboard. This is the dashboard link which will help us to see our output on the screen. Now get back to the sensor code. It's the particle code as we know talking about. It's a .inf file. Now first of all we have included the required libraries application.h and spark wiring i2c.h on to the code and define the address of the sensor that is 0x76. Now we have here some of the variables we have defined here in the void setter function also and here initialized I2C communication as master with initialized serial communication with the baud rate equal to 9600. Then we have divided the code into two parts. First part goes for temperature and pressure and the other for altitude. So let's proceed for that. First of all in the writing part, first of uh, we have sent OSR and the channel setting command and the writing command is here as you can see and here we have selected the data register that is 0x10 from very own this register we have requested 6 and read those 6 bytes of data including temperature and pressure and here comes the calculation and the conversion of the data we have just recorded for temperature and pressure this is being calculated according to the details provided in the data sheet for HP206C Similarly, for the altitude part, we have sent the command OSR and channel setting command as you can see. From the data register 0x31, we have selection 
for the request of 3 and red of 3 bytes for the altitude. Similarly, we have the conversion of data for altitude. Till now, we have all the calculations done. Well, at the very end, we want to display our results on the monitor and here comes the output data on the dashboard which is in altitude, in meter, pressure, in Pascal, temperature, in Celsius and Fahrenheit scales. It's perfectly formatted in the right direction. So why not we have a look over the working which we insist. Now let's have a look over the working of this. For that, we have to copy this entire particle code for this sensor, HP206C. Now copy as we copy it. Now what do we require is to open a build link as we have discussed earlier in this video. And here we have to create a new file so that we can save the code. Now here create a new file HP206C and here paste the entire code we have just copied and save the code. Now verify and compile the code. It's good. Now we have to check for the magenta flash while verifying this and which confirms that code is good to go and we can have our output data to be displayed on the dashboard link. Yeah, that's good to see that we have the magenta flash and the notification for the successful flash is down there as you can see. Now what do we require is to open up the dashboard link and we can have the output details on the dashboard on the screen. Now as you can see we have the temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit along with the pressure and altitude on the screen. Now it's almost stable but when I try to exert some pressure over the sensor there will be a change in all the three values regarding temperature, altitude and pressure. As you can see, the temperature, altitude and pressure are increasing. Now when I again apply some pressure, there will be again a change in temperature in Celsius, Fahrenheit, pressure and altitude. As you can notice on my screen. Now what do we require is to have a look over the applications, the features and the benefits for this sensor. Well, we have just seen the working of sensor HP206C. The HP206C employs a MEMS pressure sensor with an I2C interface to provide accurate temperature, pressure or altitude data. The sensor pressure and temperature outputs are digitized by a highly resolution 24-bit ADC. The altitude value is calculated by a specific patented algorithm according to the pressure and temperature data. Due to this, its wide features, its application are like high precision mobile altimeter, barometer, automotive systems, personal electronics altimetry, medical gas control systems, weather station equipments, indoor navigation and map assist and a lot more. This sensor can be purchased on website controleverything.com and you can have the code from the resource tab and you can download it from there. You can also have the code from github repository that is control everything community. So I just want to make it clear that uh, in case if you are in a kind of thought that you are left without fully understanding any part of this video until yet, you can have your queries on controleverything.com and you can post your comments on the community page of this website. Now for articles and blogs which are relevant to this video, you can contact me on instructivals.com and if you want to pursue more videos and to subscribe more videos like this, you can go to our YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and you have yourself a lot and thanks for watching.